Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be talking about how you can fix corrupt disk on Steam. So let's get started. So here we are on Steam, and from here we want to close this first. So basically, I'm just going to go in here and right-click here on Steam and just click on Exit Steam to fully close everything and shut it down. So once you've done that, you want to go in to your uh, file manager right here, and you want to go into the files of Steam. So basically, I want to go into this PC, and you want to navigate where you have installed it. So it's uh, for most people, it will be on the local disk C right here. So you want to go open it right here and find your Steam folder on where you have installed this. And now I'm just going to go into program files and see if I have Steam in here. I don't have it, so it's probably in six eight, uh, in x86 right here. And from here, I'm going to find the Steam folder. And here it is. So I'm going to open this. And from here, what I'm going to do is go into Steam Apps right here. And from here, you want to go into Downloading right here. So you basically don't want to open that. What you want to do is right-click, rename, and rename it into anything else. So for example, I'm just going to go with Down right there. So once you have renamed that, what you want to do next is to open your Steam app again and see if that has fixed a problem. So for most people, this is the fix. But if not, don't worry, we still have other steps or solutions for you. And yeah, right here, as you can see, it is now opening and the problem should now be fixed. But if not, then you can proceed to the next one, which is this one. So click here on Steam on the top left and click on Settings and go to Downloads. And from here, you basically want to clear the cache. So clear cache right here, click here and click on Confirm. But remember, it would restart the Steam and you will need to log in again. So make sure that you remember your login details before proceeding and click on Confirm. And then after that, your problem should be fixed. If not, then we have another solution, which is to go here into the storage section. And from here, click on the three dots and click on Repair Library. And then after that, just wait for it to finish and then your problem should now be fixed. And yeah, that is basically how you can do it. Thank you for watching.